Hello fellow makers, welcome to 3D Printed Soup. We've got lights, we've got more lights, we've got other lights, we've got key lights. We've got all kinds of lights, we've got soft boxes, we've got hard boxes. We've got more boxes than your box has got room for. I've invested in some lighting equipment. Talking about lighting. If you're a collector like myself, whether it be books, CDs, God, there's a showing my age there, CDs, bloody hell, or sort of retro games, you've got lots of things on your shelves. And yes, it's lovely to have shelves and shelves and shelves of Dreamcast games or PlayStation games, etc. However, they're not that interesting. You've just got loads of names and loads and loads of plastic cases. What breaks up books and CDs and games, best of all, is a book nook. These things have been kicking off recently, loads and loads of craft sites are making them, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna print one. I had a quick dig around, I found a really good one. I also like sort of Warhammer 40k stuff, so I've done a Warhammer 40k one, I've done a really cool Imperial Chapel. This was done using 3D printing and some cardboard and some wood stock. So uh, not just 3D printing this time, I've combined my two loves making stuff out of wood and making stuff out of 3D printing. This file was made by this fantastic maker right here. Give him a shout if you like his stuff. And if you do print his stuff, make sure you upload a photo to Thingiverse because it's always like to show other people what the file is going to turn out like. Now, before we continue, thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed. There's hundreds of you. And yeah, in fact, literally hundreds of you, almost up to 800. Once you cross that finish line, it's only next stop to 1,000. If you haven't liked subscribed, why not? Now's the best time to join. Drag your cursor down, see the subscribe button, give that a quick click. Maybe click the bell next to it, just for fun. And there you are, you're part of the 3D printed Adeptus Printanicus. If you like, for, oh, I'm a 40k, you might get that. If you don't, then it's above your head. And you're probably a cooler person than I am. Now. Let's get on and print ourselves a 3D printed Warmer 40k themed book nook with working lights. Ooh, let's give that a try. Okay, this thing turned out lovely. I love the way that you just click the switch. Bing! Oh! Yeah, there's lovely lights in there. It's not too bright, it's just bright enough to show up the details and highlight the shadows without making it really big and bright and then making it a bit gaudy. And I prefer an understated shadowy edifice compared to a big lit up 3D printed neon nightmare. This is very, very cool. You can print it about three or four times bigger if you want to, and it'll still look absolutely great. I went for this size because it's about the same size as a Dreamcast disc box, is what I'm going to be putting it in between. 
If you're doing it for books, you probably want to do it maybe 20% higher so it sits nicely and the top lines up with the top of your books. There's also sides and a top if you're interested in that. I didn't print those, I just printed it flat and used some cardstock on the sides to make it nice and understated. This is really, really cool and I absolutely love this. It's going to look great on my collecting shelf with all my other collectibles. So, with that printed, thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.